Now, a group of parents outside the Bracken High School in Alberton have staged a protest outside the school. This after the deputy principal allegedly reprimanded a pupil about her dress code. For the latest on the story, we cross live now to our reporter Mbali Tetani, who is with the provincial education spokesperson uh, regarding this particular issue. Now, Mbali, a bit earlier on, you were at the school and, and you managed to actually speak to uh, the parent of, of the said daughter. And if you've managed to speak to the department so far, what, what is their view and, and their perspective regarding dress codes and, and regarding, I guess, um, intervention or, or commentary from teachers as well as uh, principals in schools? Well, Tommy, we've seen those shocking revelations coming from Bracken High School in Alberton. Of course, uh, this follows reports uh, that uh, the deputy principal, who has been singled out, apparently uttered words of, um, if, uh, you, if anything should happen to you, to a pupil there, it is your fault. And of course, uh, subsequently, we saw parents protesting outside the school this morning, Tammy. Uh, they've been protesting since Monday. And I can also tell you that uh, they had a very heated uh, meeting uh, with the principal uh, today. But just to give us insight as to, in terms of what happened at that meeting, we are now joined by Steve Mabona. He is, of course, uh, the uh, Gauteng Education Department spokesperson. Steve, really shocking scenes coming out uh, from uh, Bracken High School. As a department, you know, are you concerned at all about what has come out from the school? Thank you very much. Indeed, um, we actually sent our officials to go to the school, and they've been uh, there since morning. And uh, on Monday, it was very clear they need to understand what is transpiring there. They met with the parents, uh, the school, and they also met with the learners. And the decision that was taken was that uh, with immediate effect, the implicated educator, that is your deputy principal, must uh, report at the district office with immediate effect. That is, uh, tomorrow she won't be at the school. And uh, a, uh, an investigation has actually been launched meaning that uh, we need to understand or not transpired. But there's an undertaking that uh, parents will be, you know, uh, provided with a uh, preliminary outcome on Friday. But uh, we hope that before the end of September, this matter would have been uh, resolved. And uh, we actually also managed to interact with the learners just to give them an assurance that this matter has been investigated and they need to go back to class. And uh, we can confirm that the uh, learners are now back in the classroom. Steve, there's a sound clip that is also making the rounds on social media coming from, this is uh, purportedly to be uh, the deputy principal who's justifying uh, acts of harassment and why they happen. Surely you cannot accept this as a department, especially uh, in a country where gender-based violence is such a major issue and it's something that we continue to deal with on a daily basis, especially more so even now under lockdown. Indeed. I mean, a school should be an environment where is conducive for teaching and learning, and uh, it must also teach values. So it's, it's regrettable that such uh, utterances are attributed to an educator, more so a female educator. Like as you've already said, I mean, we experience uh, huge challenges when coming to gender-based violence in this country. Our women and children are being abused and killed. So you don't expect such, you know, to come from a female educator. That's why we said the, the investigation must be uh, conducted speedily because we understand we do have, you know, learners that will be coming forth to testify on the indeed that they really transpired. It is regrettable. We really sincerely apologize to the entire school uh, community and uh, women and children at large to say uh, this is quite unfortunate, but as the department there's a commitment that uh, this matter will be taken serious and uh, the investigation should be completed. But it is uh, really um, uh, regrettable that happened in our environment. 
what support will be given especially to girls because they say that this is also not the first time this has happened. Um, they say that uh, there were also previous comments which were uttered by the deputy uh, principal. What support does the department plan on, on giving uh, the pupils from Brecon High? Well, today from our head office and the district, we had our psychosocial unit team that was represented there. Uh, there's an undertaking that they will go back to the school tomorrow and make sure that they support the learners, debrief, you know, conduct necessary counseling, make sure that learners are, you know, at the stage where they will be ready to be in a classroom. So that process will take time, as you will know, that uh, counseling will probably might, some might need more sessions, uh, but with the interaction that they're going to have with the professionals, then it will determine on how long will they be at the school. But uh, also all those that might be affected, they will then be supported. I mean, that's our priority as the department. That's why we send our officials at the school to make sure that all the necessary support is uh, provided to the entire school community. And we sincerely apologize uh, to the parent uh, body as well uh, to say it's quite unfortunate that it happened this way. But uh, indeed, as the department, we take this serious. And will you also be investigating issues around the principal? Because we also understand that there were comments that he has made uh, saying that uh, the, the manner in which uh, the girls at the school dress, it makes him and some of the boys at the school very uncomfortable. Indeed. I mean, that's why an investigation will be brought uh, to an extent that uh, anything that will become, because remember, witnesses might come and implicate people. Then in that, you should be in a position to can broaden the investigation. If, uh, you know, there's uh, information that dictates that uh, the principal as well must face, you know, charges, then, you, you know, that will determine, but we cannot confirm now in the uh, media space to say we're going to charge people or what is it they're going to do. That's why we say the investigation uh, must, you know, assist us on what is it that we're going to be doing. Because remember, we have labor laws in the country. We need to respect, you know, everyone. So that's why an investigation will be assisting us to determine on what is it that we're going to do. But we felt that as a matter of agency, less than precautionary, remove the, the deputy principal from the school because it seems like a, a, the concern for now is there. So we, we felt that let's remove her and make sure that uh, we then conduct an investigation that is not going to be, uh, you know, probably hindered by any individual. All right, thank you very much. Of course, so that is Steve Mabona. He is the spokesperson for the Gauteng Education Department, saying that uh, the, principal, the deputy principal, who has been singled out by the pupils at Bracken High, uh, is uh, for now, she has been removed from the school. And this is during a time where the Department of Education investigates the matter at Bracken High. Well, thank you so much, Mbali. Uh, a really deep issue as well, uh, focusing once again on issues of, of gender-based violence uh, and, and also just conscientization and sensitization of how uh, women are viewed as well as the, the level of freedom. And as you said earlier on, the quote by the principal saying, if anything happens to you, you would have been uh, responsible. Those certainly the, the type of issues that we need uh, to be focusing on and, and, and certainly reprimanding as soon as they come up. Thank you very much, Mbali.